What is going on guys? My name is Connor and today we have a jumbo box of 2021 Tops Series 1. Um, I know it is Saturday and not Friday and I am uploading on a non-standard day, but I wanted to make sure I got one of these so I went to the uh, collectible show this morning and I picked up a jumbo box, uh, a little over 200 bucks I want to say, which wasn't too bad relative to what I've been seeing online um, and I didn't have to pay for shipping so that was kind of nice. Um, inside every 2021 Tops Series 1 Jumbo Box you get one autograph and two relic cards and you get 10 packs, 46 cards per pack so right around 450 cards when you factor in losing some for the relics. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. Um, there's a really good 2021 uh, rookie class so far. Um, what they did was last year when they had the, the shortened season, um, all of the rookies who got brought up towards the end of the year did not get a rookie card in, in Topps Update, and they just saved them all for Series 1. So the, uh, the set list is, is pretty good. Um, it's kind of cool. They got the whole... Uh, Juan Soto there. I thought it was just above the waist. Um, but yeah, so you get one box topper, two silver packs, which we will save for the end. I'll set those over there so you can still see them. Um, and then you have your 10 uh, jumbo packs. Let's slide them all out of there, put the box there for a second, and flip it back over so we have our 10 packs. But like I was saying, the, uh, the rookie set list is pretty good. Um, there's all sorts of good names. Uh, Casey Mize, Tarek Skubal, Tristan McKenzie, um, Joey Bart. Uh, I'm missing some like super obvious ones. Alec Bohm, uh, Bobby Dalbeck. Um, so there's a lot of really good rookies, and I'll be able to point some of them out here. Uh, Dylan Carlson is, is one of them. Um, so it looks like we do not have a relic, or is that just one thick card in the middle? Only one way to find out. So without further ado, let's get into it. And right off the top, we have a Bobby Dalbeck. So uh, since this is a new release, I'm going to show you guys the cards. And I don't know. I'm not crazy about the design. I like the white border. Um, but I, uh, I'm just kind of meh on the design. Uh, Bobby Dalbeck had 23 games last year, and he had 21 hits with eight homers. He had almost a thousand OPS. He was slugging 600. Um, so Bobby Dalbeck is a pretty good player. Not a bad rookie card to get right off the top. Um, so let's see what else we got. Danny Duffy, and then how about that? A Joe Adele as the third card. So two of our three cards are pretty good. Uh, Joe Adele came up for the Angels. He is going to play alongside Mike Trout in that outfield, but they did just trade for Dexter Fowler, so he may be a little short on playing time, but we'll see. Uh, a couple more rookies, Tower Stevenson, Eddie Alvarez, and then there's the uh, Casey Mize. Um, always been a super good prospect for the Tigers. Uh, he threw a no-hitter in the minor leagues. Uh, came up and looked pretty decent last year, uh, so that's not a bad one either. Um, so these have just been the base cards so far, and you can see in the middle there you get some some color and, and things like that. So let's see what else we got. Marcel Ozuna, uh, not a rookie, but it does remind me that the um, Braves do have a halfway decent rookie in here with Christian Pache. Forgot about that one. Um, Cabrian Hayes did not get a base rookie in Series 1, but he does have an 86, uh, tops 1986 insert rookie, and he is in the silver packs, which are also the 86 design. Um, we have a Matt Chapman, and then we have our gold card here, the gold foil Max Muncy, followed up by a manufactured relic. Uh, a spring training relic of uh, Blake Snell of the Padres now. He is no longer on the Rays. He got traded to the Padres. Um, this is n not a uh, game-worn. Um, so it's a commemorative cap logo patch. So it's pretty neat. Uh, nothing special there. We have a 1986 design Bryce Harper. So yeah, you see the, the partial black, partial white. 
That is what we would be looking for in our Cabrian Hayes. And then we have these, which are just the dumbest thing that has happened. Um, it's just pictures of, like, high-end releases. So this looks like a Relic Auto, but it's just a normal freaking card. And it, it's an Aaron Judge rookie card with the patch and the auto. And No, it's not. It's just a piece of garbage. Um, so that sucks. I know a lot of people have been pulling the uh, Mike Trout one of one, and uh, they have uh, joked about it a little bit, but I'm sure there's at least one person who believed it was a true one of one. Uh, Jay Bruce just signed with the Yankees, I'm pretty sure. Like, it might not even be in mainstream media yet. So there's a solid chance you find out about it from this video if you watch it right when it gets uploaded. Um, not a whole lot going on in the back of that pack. Um, so let's get into the second one. We had three pretty good rookies in the first pack, so and a manufactured relic, so we could have definitely done worse. Um, let's see what we have in here. Uh, the Orioles logo reminds me that we have a Ryan Mountcastle rookie um, in here somewhere. I uh, I don't know a whole lot about Ryan Mountcastle as a prospect, but there are definitely some fans out there. Brandon Bielek, I'm pretty sure he was. Uh, on my fantasy team last year, at least at some point, Trevor Bauer signed with the Dodgers. Um, took a three-year deal where he can kind of maximize his short-term earnings. Uh, makes a lot of sense, uh, and I have been selling off my Bowman Chrome autos of Trevor Bauer from 2011 because I bought a few of them when he was on the Indians. I thought he had a lot of potential, and I was buying them for about 20 bucks, and now they're going for about 130 so that's pretty good. Uh, Evan White, a lot of people like Evan White, but he is an older prospect, I believe. Uh, yeah, he was born in 96. Oh, wow, I guess he's two years younger than me. Um, but he has a rookie card. And then we have a rainbow foil. Uh, I'm pretty sure these are exclusive to the, the jumbo packs. Uh, so, unfortunately, it's a Pittsburgh Pirates rainbow foil. But then we have Mike Trout, 86. Just definitely worst players of the 86 you can get. And then this is a uh, 2013... I believe, Matt Chapman. Um, so you have your seven years of tops, and they have, like, inserts from the different years. Um, oh, this is 2012. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Uh, but not a rookie or anything, so it's not probably doesn't hold a lot of value. Let me know in the comments down below if those do hold some value. Clayton Kershaw, Max Muncy, who we saw a little bit earlier. Uh, and then I don't know if you noticed, but the middle of the pack generally has the good stuff. So once I get to the back of the pack here, I'm just kind of shuffling through to see what I can find a Dane Dunning rookie uh, not exactly a uh, the top tier rookie and same goes for Mitch White who I've actually never heard of oh good they got the, the cards going the correct way again that was really confusing on uh, update was uh, they they flipped the way the cards were oriented and I was really having a hard time getting them all lined up so Let's get into our third pack, but before we do, if you see anything you like, you can always reach out to me, leave a comment on my YouTube channel, any on, on any of the videos, you can reach out to me on Instagram or Twitter, follow me over there, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out how I want to use my Instagram and Twitter, right now I generally just kind of announce when my videos go live, um, so if you have any ideas for my uh, Instagram or Twitter, let me know, I do have a lot of cards, so like I could show some more stuff off, I could be more interactive, let me know what you guys want to see out of me on my other social media platforms. So, Also, we're, we're not really that close, so I don't uh, publicize it too much. But once I hit 1,000 subscribers, um, I'm going to do another giveaway in some capacity. Uh, real quick, we got a Sixto Sanchez rookie. He came up and was really good for the Marlins last year. Uh, he was definitely on my fantasy team. Um, but once we get to 1,000 subscribers... That is the point where I can be monetized and start doing live streams. Um, there's a Pedro Severino. He was really good last year. Not sure why. Um, but, yeah, that's when I can start doing live streams and uh, get monetized. So once I get 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to do a pretty big giveaway. I just don't have any idea what it's going to be yet since we're only around 530, 540, somewhere in there. Uh, Spencer Howard, he came up for the Phillies. He's a decent prospect for them, but he didn't really do too great. Um, so I'll just set that one off to the side. 
Uh, and then we got a Justin Verlander, a Davy Garcia. I'm going to set that one off to the side. I just, I don't know if I am truly a believer in Davy Garcia, but a lot of people are. Um, so I will keep it uh, set off to the side, but I I just, I don't know if I see it with him. He's, he's a very small guy, um, kind of similar to like a Marcus Stroman, but he seemed to have some success in the majors, so maybe he can end up all right. There's Randy Dobnak. He was like weirdly good at the beginning of last year. I remember um, playing against the Twins with the Indians and, uh, or should I say the Cleveland baseball team. That's kind of an interesting picture. Got some cleats flying in the air. But uh, yeah, so Randy Dobnak was like a like an Uber driver. And then they just pulled him into the, the rotation. They're like, all right, we're going to need another starter. And he was just lights out. Wasn't really striking anyone out, wasn't doing anything wild, but had a really good start to the season. Uh, then we got a rainbow foil of the di- Diamondbacks, and then how about that one? That's a nice one, 1986 design, Joey Bart, rookie. I know a lot of people um, like Joey Bart. He was a pretty good uh, catching prospect for the Giants. Uh, then we have a through the years, Roger Clemens. This is 2014, yeah, 2014 tops. Um Probably not really worth much. Eric Sogard, Malik Smith, uh, Brandon Crawford, Chris Paddock. Yeah, not a not a whole lot in the back here. We'll see if we can find a, a halfway decent rookie. Switch to the landscape cards, flip the cards around. Shane Bieber, uh, one of the most dominant pitchers in the major leagues last year. Um, he's another one of those players who I kind of thought it was going to be good uh, coming through the, the Indian system. There's a Luis Robert Gold Cup card. That one's kind of nice. Um, but and Francisco Lindor now on the Mets. Uh, but, yeah, Shane Bieber, uh, similar to Trevor Bauer, just another one of those Indians players that I just kind of had a good feeling about. Bought some of their Bowman Chrome autos before they were super popular, and now I got a few of those listed up on eBay. Um Feel free to reach out to me if you have really anything you want from from any video that you've seen. I have tons and tons of cards from opening so many boxes on YouTube. We got a Aristides Aquino Future Stars and a Jose Urquidy Future Stars. There's a Dalton Varsho rookie card. That one's kind of decent. And a Daniel Jet Johnson rookie card for the Indians. I don't really anticipate him making a huge impact this season, but he could definitely see some playing time. Um, Santiago Espinal, I have never heard of him. Isaac Paredes, he was uh, an okay ad um, for the Tigers. And there is a Christian Pache. I don't know how I feel about Christian Pache, especially for the hobby. I think he'll be a really good player. Um, but he's definitely a defense-first kind of guy. Uh, so I just I don't know what to expect. I don't know if he'll be super valuable in the hobby. But right now, I'm pretty sure his stuff is worth a decent amount. Roberto Perez had a little down year after a really good uh, 2019 season. And then we have a Bo Burrows from the Tiger. A Bo Bichette, Future Stars card. Uh, Heimer Candelario, Ryan Cast. Uh, Castiani, I, I was going to say that. I just didn't want to follow my gut. Uh, Luis Garcia, he came up and was pretty decent for the Nationals. Uh, he came up and was hot right out of the gate, but then cooled off, similar to what Austin Riley did, uh, but not quite at the same level. Uh, Michaelis, <laughs> Miles Michaelis will forever have a little special piece of my brain you know how you always see those memes it's like what video lives rent free in your head and for me it's the video of miles michaelis um in spring training uh like pouring mountain dew on a lizard and like eating the head so if you've never seen that video go find it it is insane but here is a really nice card a uh, a gold foil parallel of joey bart um, that is a nice one, and it looks like our autograph is actually right behind it. So hang on, let me let me get another card here. Get this Max Scherzer, and we'll slide that behind the Joey Bart real quick, so I can get this Joey Bart in a sleeve. Um, some of the nicer cards I like to sleeve up uh, before I kind of move on, uh, just because I don't want to like 
mess him up while I'm doing the video or, or something like that. So make a little room for him up there. And then let's see if this really was our auto. Um, we got a Jackie Robinson. So I think I'm just going to do like a, like a quick flip here. It was not our auto, but it is a short print of Nick Madrigal. Um, if you don't know, the way to find a short print is this code down here. So if it ends here, my pointer finger is, so if it ends in 213, it is not a short print. And if it ends in 230, it is a short print. So that's a pretty nice one. That was a really good pack. We got a Joey Bart gold foil with a Nick Madrigal photo variation right behind it. Um, that reminds me, though, I did not. I forgot to look up the uh, the photo variations for um, for this release. So if I miss them, please let me know because uh, I would like to catch those before they uh, kind of sneak by. Um, so then we got a Jackie Robinson on the back and then a, a die cut Robin Yount. That one's pretty neat. Sean Manaya, he threw a no hitter. Um, a couple years ago, I remember I was at a uh, some sort of party at, at this girl's house in college, and my friend JC and I, shout out JC, I imagine you'll be watching this at some point, uh, my friend JC and I, we were kind of just off to the side um, because we were watching Sean Manhaya's last inning of a no-hitter like on my phone, and people were f like freaking out because like, it's a college party, and we're just in the corner by ourselves watching um, watching Sean Mania throw a no-hitter on my phone, like chanting, Sean, Sean, Sean. It was really funny. Um, just in the middle of the party. But that is besides the point. Moving on. Uh, let's see. We got another pack here. We are. This marks the halfway point of the box. And honestly, I'd say I'm pretty satisfied so far. Uh, the gold foil, foil Joey Bart. There's some red in there, so maybe that's an autograph. That would be red is usually out of ten or five, um, so that would be pretty awesome if that was the case. Um, we have a Miggy Adam Plutko. That's another thing between me and JC. Adam Plutko went to UCLA, um, and he was on the same pitching staff as uh, Trevor Bauer and Garrett Cole when they were there. Now, real quick, we got a Tristan McKenzie rookie card. Um, but yeah, Adam Plutko was on the uh, the same pitching staff as uh, Garrett Cole and Trevor Bauer uh, at UCLA. So anytime Adam Plutko pitches for the Indians and uh, I'm listening to the radio, the radio guy goes, Adam Plutko, UCLA. He was on the same pitching staff as Garrett Cole and Trevor Bauer. And when they were there, they didn't win the national championship. But after they left, Adam Plutko made them win the national championship. And it's just always the same story. So Trevor, ba not Trevor Bauer, Adam Plutko, UCLA. Uh, that's a nice one. Rainbow foil of Monty Harrison. He's kind of like the... Uh, like the poor man's version of Acuna, right? He's a, a speed power guy, but he's he's just not nearly as good. Um, so let's sl set him off to the side. There is our relic. Um, so we're not gonna get our uh, yeah. So it was a uh, it was the back of this. So if you like Blake Snell, this was the box for you. We got two Blake Snell relics in the same box. How about that? Not every day you see that happen. Um, and it's like horribly off center. I don't know. Tops is Tops gotta step up their game, man. If I'm buying a box for two hundred ten bucks and I pull a, a one dollar relic, I would like for it to at least be centered, you know. Uh, but whatever. We're gonna press onward. Just gonna slide that onto the screen there. Joey Votto eighty six, Mike Piazza, stars and service. I don't know, that's kinda lame. Uh, let's keep going here, Garrett Cole. Flip him around, Mitch Keller. Um, spring training is coming up. I would love to be able to go to spring training. I live in Southern California, so going to Arizona is about a, a five-hour drive for me. Perfectly doable. Um, but I just don't know if it's going to be the best idea with the state of the pandemic. But we'll monitor it, see how it goes. Maybe by the end of March, they'll uh, they'll have a plan, uh, and I can catch a couple of games at the end there. But 
we shall see. So we got here, we have a Matthew Boyd. Man, the Tigers probably wish they had flipped him a couple years ago. Uh, Andres Jimenez, that is an Indians rookie now. Um, he was traded to the Indians as part of the uh, as part of the deal for Francisco Lindor. Uh, and there's Nick Madrigal's normal card. So I don't know if you want to compare. Um, but we have the Nick Madrigal base on the left and the short print on the right. So pretty neat. Uh, let me see if I can kind of slide that up a little bit and put the base Madrigal underneath. Yep. Uh, so then we have a a James Caprillian. I don't know who that is. Jordan Alvarez coming back from knee surgery, hoping to bounce back. A David Peterson rookie, never heard of him. Anderson Tejada rookie. Kybert Ruiz. He's a pretty decent prospect for the Dodgers. I won't leave that one on the screen, but I'll set it off to the side. Ryan Mountcastle. He had a pretty good shortened season for the uh, – Orioles last year. He had an 878 OPS in 35 games. Small sample size. So that's one thing I kind of wanted to talk about during this video is that um, there's like a really big class of uh, of rookies like Luis Patino, another one. He was traded to the, the Rays as part of the Snell deal. Um, but there's like a really large class of rookies because they, um, they held a lot of the rookies for this release and how about that man we're freaking on fire a uh, dylan carlson gold foil um these ones are numbered uh there's a christian javier but or maybe they're not they used to be numbered to to 2011 or not 2011 2020 or 2021 uh but maybe this is the uh the rainbow foil the, the gold rainbow foil. I'm not sure. Someone will have to comment down below, but that is a really nice card, so I'm going to put a sleeve on that one real quick. Um, but like I was saying, a bunch of players got called up last year in the shortened season, and I just... It, it increases the number of rookies. Like, look at all these rookies. Uh, tons of different names. Um, lots of different players and they just a lot of them played really well last year but you got to be nervous about that that small sample size uh, getting figured out up in the majors so there's going to be a lot of rookies from this class like some of these guys that are just not going to pan out and people are going to lose a lot of money um, because they were investing in them so just be on the lookout for that when when you are uh Sorry, I gotta make a little more room on the screen. When you are uh, trying to decide what rookies you're gonna go after, uh, I got a Nate Pearson. I gotta speed it up. This is gonna be a long video. I'm already at 23 minutes. Um, usually I can go through a jumbo in a little over 30 minutes, but it's always tough when uh, it's the first time you've seen it. I've mentioned it in videos before. Um, who do we have here? We have a Cody here. I don't know, um, but yeah. So you always got to uh, be a little careful when you're um, going through because you don't want to miss something. I also don't know how much space I have on my phone, so hopefully the video doesn't cut out. That's probably foreshadowing. This video is going to tank here in a few minutes. Then I'm going to lose everything I had. It's going to be great. But we have a uh, Alex Alec Bohm right on the top there. He's one of the top prospects for the Phillies. So we pretty much got the screen filled up here, so... We're still looking for that autograph. We have three packs left after this one, plus our silver packs. So we'll see if we can, in fact, find it. Um, let's get those off to the side. Let's see, we got a Colton Wong. I'm pretty sure he signed with the Brewers. Um, short deal, two years, maybe like 16 million, something like that. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Um, we got a nice rainbow foil here of uh, Chris Taylor, not really a big name. And then this might be our auto. No, it is a Andrew Benintendi short print numbered out of 300, recently acquired by the um, the Royals as part of a, a three-team trade. I'm going to set it up there, I guess. Uh, Kirby Puckett and then a Ryan Sandberg. Um, let's see if we can flip through this pretty quick. We got a lot of the good rookies. Um, Tarek Skubal is is one that comes to my mind uh, that we didn't pull yet, but I think we 
pretty much got all the other ones. Uh, as always, let me know if I missed anything in the comments down below. Um, I have not watched a whole lot of this product be opened, um, so I'm not entirely sure what I may or may not have missed. So it's always good to have you guys on my side, making sure I don't miss anything too good. Uh, three packs left. Maybe I can get this done in just over 30 minutes. If uh, all the packs go like that one. We still haven't pulled our auto. I think it might be in this pack, but I've said that before for sure. Um, we got another gold foil. Uh, Jose Abreu, I just sold his uh, PSA 10 first Bowman paper uh, on eBay this week. We got a Tarek Screwball. I'll set that one off to the side, uh, but I won't leave it on the screen. Yeah, I sold his... First Bowman paper, PSA 10, for 45 bucks, I want to say. And uh, I bought it for 9 so that's pretty nice. We got a Joey Bart and a Dylan Carlson to go with our, um, our gold versions of those cards. I'm not going to bother putting it underneath right now. Brandon Bielek, uh, Michael Lorenzen, he is a pretty good hitter. They'll occasionally bring him in and put him in the outfield. Um, even though he is listed as a pitcher. Uh, let's see what else we got here. We got a Roman Quinn, Tommy Edmond, and then what is our gold foil? We got a Zach Britton gold foil, followed up by a something. Okay, so these ones are the golds. Um, so those gold foils are something else. So if you could please let me know in the comments down below, that would be greatly appreciated. I'm glad they went back to the uh, inscribed, I guess you could say, numbering. Uh, they were just kind of printed on in the past, and I always thought that was kind of lame. Um, we got another die cut card in here. We got a Juan Soto and a Pedro Martinez, Salvador Perez, hoping to bounce back after an injured season. I believe he played a little bit at the end of last year, but he... Uh, had some injury issues. Uh, we got an Ian Anderson. That one's pretty nice. He came up and played pretty well late in the year. Um, one of the later call-ups. I think he ended up pitching in the playoffs. Uh, Oliver Perez, one of the uh, biggest victims of the new rule where a reliever has to face three batters. Uh, Blake Taylor, he was definitely on my fantasy team because he had starter and reliever eligibility, so I could put him in a starting pitching spot and get reliever stats without using one of my starts for the week. Um, but yeah, Oliver Perez, super old. He's like 37, 38, uh, which is pretty old for a pitcher. Um, but he was a, a loogie, a left, lefty, uh, one-out only guy. Um but then they made that rule where each reliever has to face three batters. So he really amped up his game. He uh, started messing with timing and doing different leg kicks and leg hangs and, and different stuff to just throw off the timing of the batter. And it, it really worked for him last season. He had a, he had a pretty good year. Um, so I'm glad he was able to rework his game and still be relevant in the modern uh, day baseball, even though I don't really think... The three out or the three batter rule is that good. There's an Evan White. Um, we have a future stars, Justin Dunn, and how about that? Our autograph is not some and nobody. It is a Bob Gibson Hall of Fame autograph. E R A King, Bob Gibson. Wow. That is a really, really nice autograph, so I'm going to put that in a sleeve real quick. The Bob Gibson autograph, it's not every day you get a autograph of a Hall of Famer. Even if it is a sticker auto, that is a, still a really, really nice autograph. So we got the Bob Gibson 70 Years of Baseball autograph card. I'm going to put that right in the middle, right on top of Casey Mize. I don't care. Bob Gibson, center screen. Really cool autograph there. Uh, Austin Meadows, 1986. Sean Doolittle. He just signed somewhere for really cheap. I, I kind of forgot, though. Uh, Max Muncy, Zach Britton. Man, I can't believe we pulled a Bob Gibson autograph. That's just really neat. Um, but, yeah, so we got, what, one pack left. We're right at the 30-minute mark. Let's see if we can squeeze this thing out. Another Dane Dunning. Uh, 
set that off to the side, and we get a Juan Soto. Brady Singer, he uh, he came up and was pretty decent for the Royals, um, but I don't really think he's worth setting aside for now. I can always go back and find him if he continues to be a stud. Um, so last pack, and then we'll get into the box topper and the silver packs. And, man, I love the way the silver packs cards look. Um, it's really the first time I've, I've actually – I don't think I'm going to do it. But it's the first time I can recall seeing cards and being like, wow, I want to build that set. Um, but I don't think I'm going to because it's not really um, my favorite part of the hobby. Um, we got another Christian Pache, so I'll set him down with the other Christian Pache. We got a Chris Bubik. And we got another Bo Burrows. Another Bo Bichette. So those two are pretty much cooked collated consistently um because the last time we got it they were back to back jesse winker and another luis garcia i believe i set that one off to my secondary rookies pile that is off screen evan longoria miles michaelis remember watch the video of him eating a lizard um, another gold foil this one's david Dahl, uh, and then we got a home run derby uh card i could have sworn these were like more common in previous years um so i'll just set that off to the side but we got a kyle schwarber home run derby card alex bregman 1986 that's a neat one the tony gwynn i actually almost bought this card this morning um the uh the 1983 rookie card of tony gwynn uh this is a reprint but i was looking at it and i was like man do i really want to spend like 18 dollars on a on a raw rookie not really um oops I bumped my side lamp there. Uh, so we got a Mitch White followed up by a Trent Grisham super st or future stars, not superstars. Trent Gris Grisham is not a superstar, at least not yet, but he is a future star, so maybe he will get there. Um, but it looks like that might be all we had. Uh, so wait, what made that Andrew Benintendi special? Because that's the same picture. Let me grab that real quick. Oh, it's an advanced stats parallel. That's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever actually pulled an advanced stats parallel before, but that is pretty neat. So I'll set that other Benintendi off to the side. Get these out of here. Yeah, no, nothing big. So, okay. Well, that is everything we got from the base packs. I'd say we did pretty well, and we still have our silver packs and box topper to go, so let's get this box topper open. I'm not super optimistic about this. Um, oh, I, don't, I can't even get it open. All right, there's that. Um, so maybe I can... Oh, man. Why do they... Sorry about the technical difficulties, guys. I'm trying my best i've really butchered this now there we go i got it so we got a shohei otani ticket i don't know what that is but we'll set it over there for now all right so let's get into the silver packs and see what we get if we can get a cabrine hayes that would be cool because he does not have a base um card in this set so we have a don mattingly from the yankees looks like we didn't get any color we have an ozzy smith and andres jimenez and a casey mize that's a pretty good one we'll set that one over here casey mize silver pack um, and i'll set these off to the side and the last silver pack and the last pack of the video please remember to check me out on twitter and Instagram, here are my handles. If you made it this far, I am really proud of you. This is a long video. Uh, but I think we got some pretty awesome stuff. I might have saw some red. No, it's just the back of the card. Um, so no colors, probably no autos. Christian, Yelich, Paul Goldschmidt. Got a Davey Garcia. That one's pretty nice. And a Jorge Soler. So that is our box. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. 
And uh, next week, I will probably be doing some hanger boxes of 2020 Tops Chrome Update. Managed to find some of those at my Target. So I think that's the direction I'm going to go next week. And until then, I will catch you guys next time.